Hey guys, welcome back to TCG Bros. Today we're going to be opening up a box of our premium gold, infinite gold. So we are obviously looking for our giant hand. Excuse me. As I was saying, but if you're newer to the TCG Bros channel, make sure you subscribe for more Yu Gi Oh! Pokemon and Forcible videos. And let me go ahead and open this up and get all of our mini boxes out, and then we'll get started. Alright, let's get started. I have had this box pre-ordered for probably at least since beginning of February or early March. As soon as these were available for pre-order online, I had one pre-ordered on eBay. So, I got my box before a lot of the... Uh, before a lot of the confirmed reprints and everything came out, I had already bought my booster box. So, I mean, the price of these boxes probably went up 20 or $30 as soon as I ordered mine just because of what people were saying came in it. Alright, so we're going to start off with a Constellar Ptolemy M7, Cosmos Straw Man, Radiant Mirror Force, King's Consonants. And a Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. King's Consonance is pretty cool. I've never heard of that card, but just a lot of really good reprints in this set. I'm I'm happy that not just reprints, but reprints that like we're holding the prices of the cards up. And nice. I've needed Digesto Emerald for a long time. This is probably the reprint that I'm the most happy about because this card has just been really hard to get lately, so Nice to see a Digesto Emerald, Cosmo Light Sword, Dark Mirror Force, a number 38, Hope Hammer, or Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. That's a long one. And a Dante Pilgrim. Kind of bummed about that. I had invested in a bunch of Dantes, so. But I get it. That's just part of the game. So I guess we'll set out my favorite pulls of this. A Radiant Mirror Force is one of my favorites keep our gold secrets up here alright our final box of pack number one we have Abyss Dweller Black Horn of Heaven Mistaken Arrest, Red Supremacy and the Terminus of the Murray Abyss so Mistaken Arrest is pretty good that's a good um, a good like more of a staple card so Strange to see Black Horn of Heaven since that card hasn't really seen much play at all in like recent days. Well, so not a not bad of a first box. I mean, Emerald by itself is a really good card to pull. I'm I was really in need of an Emerald actually, so I'm very happy that we pulled that. Okay, I gotta be smarter than the box. But yeah, I, uh, I'm mainly, Emerald was probably my biggest one. I know at the beginning I had said Dig Vorzak, and obviously everybody is after those, but I'm after a couple of the reprints here. Constellar Told Me M7, Horn of Heaven, Draco Face Off, Frost Blast of the Monarchs, and another Terminus. So that pack wasn't as great, but that's okay. Nice, we have a Castell. I'm surprised to see this got another reprint when it did in here. We got Castell, Cosmo Farm Girl, very nice. Reasoning, very nice. Phantasmal Lord Ultimaya Bishbalkin, very nice. And a Virgil, so that was a good pack. I've, I'm happy to see Reasoning got a reprint in a higher rarity than Shatterfoil, so that's going to go in my personal favorite pull pile. Farm Girl good, that card is good too, so that card was very much so to my liking right there. That's the kind of packs I want to see. Very nice, Constellar Pallades, another card I did not have previously. Constellar Pallades, a Void Trap Hole, Breakthrough Skill, Frost Blast, and Graph, so 
Continuing on. Void Trap Hole is pretty good. Breakthrough. You can't have too many breakthroughs, so. Got a Pallades. I'm happy with getting a Pallades. Those were kind of expensive, but not too bad. We're not doing too bad so far, but at the same time, there's not. Uh, it's not like you can necessarily do bad buying a box of this. I mean, you could, but it would be kind of unlikely for you to do, do like really bad pulls out of an entire booster box of these boxes. So, but like I said, I mean. Part of it for me plays into the fact that I bought this whole box for like fifty dollars, which is not going to be possible now, which is which makes me very happy, very nice. We have an Evil Swarm Ouroboros, another card I didn't have. Nice Beatrice, Mask Change, Junk Changer, and a Cagna. Another card to put with my favorite pulls: Beatrice and Evil Swarm. There we go. Got junk. Lots of good, useful reprints. That's. It's good to see new cards being introduced as well, though. Alright, very nice. We have a Vector Pendulum. The Drake Overlord. Sorry about the camera. I'm working on it here. He doesn't want to work with me. There we go. Nice! The hands even got a reprint. I love the hands. Angmarl, the Fiendish Monarch. So a new Monarch, a Rubik reprint. Good thing I just sold my BA deck. So I remove Brainwashing. That's its highest rarity print that I believe it's coming so far now. Angmarl and Rubik. Very nice. Is this a secret? That is a secret. Okay. It's nice to see Rubik got a reprint. I mean, BA has been around for a long time and it's still like a fan favorite, so... Nice. Arcanite Magician. Another card I really wanted to get. Got our Arcanite Magician. Deep Dark Trap Hole. Chimera Tech Fortress. Phantom Knights of Shade Brigade. And Fire Lake. So, that Phantom Knights card is nice to pull. Um, Arcanite's really good. Chimera Tech is obviously really good because that card is it's held up a high value for a very long time. Let me shift all these to the side. We're getting getting too many good pulls. <laughs> I need more space for putting my favorite pull pile here. But we'll do a recap of everything at the end, so we'll be okay. So box number four, moving right along here. I'm content as it were even right now, but like I said, I've had this box on pre-order for so long and I mean, when I pre-ordered this box, I pre-ordered a box of Shining Victory, and I pre-ordered uh, a couple of the Pokemon Mythical Collections as well, so I've had a lot of stuff on pre-order for a very good while now, so I've just been playing the waiting game. Alright, whoops, I lost a pack wrapper there. We have another cast still, Fire Hand, Blazing Mirror Force, Phantom Knights of Dark Gauntlets, that was a good pack right there. Got that Blazing Mirror Force. Got another Castell. We got Fire Hand in here. That's hot right there. Got the Phantom Knights Dark Gauntlets and a Graph. We're gonna have a whole gold BA deck after this. I'm gonna go ahead and move all of our gold secrets that are not my notable pulls over here. And then we'll shift my favorite pulls over here a little bit. There we go. So lots of lots of these pulls are good. As you can tell, normally I don't normally you would know I don't set as many, as many cards off to the side as being like my notable pulls, but we have a Bahama Shark, Cosmo Slip Rider, Storming Mirror Force, King's Consonance, and Barbar. So we got that Storming Mirror Force, that's good. Bahama Shark is good. Slip Rider and King's Consonance are also pretty decent. So, one pack remaining from our fourth box. Nice. Volcasaurus. One of my favorite cards from that Zexal 10. Void Trap Hole. Mask Change 2. Shining Hope Road. And the Traveler in the Burning Abyss. I needed some Mask Change 2s. Volcasaurus is pretty sick, too. Got some good gold secrets in that one. Alright, bros. 
can we get Dig Vorzak or Giant Hand from our very last box? Statistically, we should not be able to do it, but it has been a while since I've pulled like broke from packs. I've had a few times now I've done pack openings and pulled pretty horrible. So maybe it's our time to be lucky, maybe it's not, maybe it's time to be unlucky still. But, regardless, I still enjoyed opening all this. <laughs> Haven't done a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening or a Yu-Gi-Oh! video for a good while. I was starting to miss it. Alright. Very nice. That's a good way to start off. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Grand Horn of Heaven, Draco face off number 84 Pain Gainer and a Drag Another very notable nice pull. We've got that Pain Gainer. Another nice pull. Alright, two remain. Very nice. Black Rose Dragon. Black Horn of Heaven, Radiant Mirror Force, Magical King Moonstar, and a Farfa. Magical King Moonstar looks pretty cool, but we got another Radiant Mirror Force, which is really nice. We got Black Rose, which is cool by me. Alright. One pack remaining, bros. Let's see the prize cards. That's not bad. Magispector Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer. Cosmo Farm Girl. Dark Mirror Force. Ooh, Snooka. Oh, an Archfiend Eccentric, though. That was a busted last pack, though. We're not going to complain. We didn't pull the prize cards or any of the, like, number ones. Well, Farm Girls and Digesto Emerald are pretty dope. Uh, Archfiend Eccentric is, like, one of the ones I wanted to really, really pull. Just to keep it around, so. Sukomo Slash. Very nice, though. Double Farm Girl. I got the Majester. We got all kinds of good stuff, bros. Alright, let me compile these all into my hand, my favorite pulls, and then we'll do a quick little recap. Alright, so my notable pull stack is pretty thick as you can see here, but that just goes to show like this set is actually really good and full of useful things, which is rare anymore in my eyes. So, we've got an Archfiend Eccentric, Evil Swarm Ouroboros, Beatrice, Majester Paladin, Digesta Emerald, Pallades, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, Pain Gainer, Bahama Shark, Black Rose Dragon, Arcanite Magician, Phantasmic Lord, Ultimo Bishbakken, two Cosmo Farm Girls, which is very, very nice, Ice Hand and Fire Hand, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, Vector Pendulum, Reasoning, my personal favorite spell pull, Mistaken Arrest, Mass Change 2, Remove Brainwashing, A Blazing, A Storming, and two Radiant Mirror Force. So, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave it a thumbs up and let me know your comments on this set. It's personally one of my favorite sets that's included reprints that we've got for a long time. I think this redeems the Premium Gold series again. And I'm just really hoping that when the new Dragons of Legend Unleashed comes out that it kind of makes up for Dragons of Legend 2 with something like this. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with some more videos.